Just in time to say goodbye to the Duke and Duchess. Thank you, Thomas. Without you, Spencer would never have finished on time. <laughs> I have to go to Napford now. Why? To see Sir Topham Hatt. Spencer snarl. You're going to tell Sir Topham Hatt about that silly scrap engine. I'll get there first to make sure your plan doesn't work. That engine will be sent to the smelter's yard, where he belongs. So Spencer pumped his pistons and clickety-clacked after Thomas. Thomas heard Spencer's wheels whooshing and whirring behind him. I'll puff hardest. I'll chuff quickest. I know I can. Thomas and Spencer had the race of their lives. Thomas steamed over bridges and wished through tunnels. He slipped through junctions and raced round bends. Spencer thundered and roared, but he couldn't get in front of Thomas. At a junction, Thomas puffed ahead. Then he turned quickly onto a sidetrack. Spencer thundered on, then he screeched to a stop. Spencer reversed back to the junction. He raced after Thomas along the narrow track. The rickety old track went over marshland. Thomas knew that it was the fastest way to Napoli. Thomas huffed, and Spencer puffed. Spencer was closer and closer. Then there was trouble. The track was broken, and Spencer was too heavy with a creak and a crack. The track snapped wow. beneath him. The mighty Spencer slid into the muddy marsh. Thomas stopped. He knew what had happened, but he could do nothing. I'm sorry, Spencer. I didn't know the track was broken. I'll go on and get help. I I'll be back. And Thomas steamed off.